In this lesson in the blue series, we're going to talk about turnarounds. So in this lesson, specifically, I'm going to show you three examples of things that you can play over the two bars, bars 11 and 12, of um, a 12-bar blues uh, chord progression. So the last two bars, bars 11 and 12, are typically where the turnaround occurs. Okay, so um, these are more kind of lead guitarish things, although you could you could certainly uh, incorporate these if you're playing solo. And this this lesson could go for electric or acoustic. doesn't doesn't matter. Um, they can be applied to both. Um, so the first example is in the key of E, and it sounds like this. <laughs> more time. It's kind of in the style of maybe a Stevie Ray Vaughan or something. So um, where, let me show you now where, how this is in context of, of a 12 bar blues. So let's say we're in the key of E, our three chords are E7, A7, and B7. Coming out of where we go to the five chord, the B7, so. sounds and then it would start back in at the top of the progression. full context. Okay, so let's take a look at the lick. So on the downbeat of bar 11, um, we're going to hit a full one chord. In this case, it's E major. So we hit the chord. Then we're going to come up here, and this is like the second box of a pentatonic minor scale. So four, fret four on the G string, fret three on the B string, second finger, first finger. And we're going to play two triplets. So that's six hits. A triplet is three, three notes within one beat. Da 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 da. That's a triplet. You can slide up to the um, note if you want. So this is a double stop, two notes at the same time. Uh, the the tab doesn't indicate a slide, but you surely can. Um, but so six of those. Then we're going to do, we're going to hit the G string again, pick it again. We're still on the fourth fret. We're going to slide back to the second fret and then pull off to the open G. So. Then we had second fret on the E string, or on the D string, sorry. Then we're going to do add in a little major third to kind of make it a little more major blues sounding. Open G, hammer on the first fret of the G string, back to the E note on the second fret of the D string. Then we end with our little, and that's outlining the five chord, the B7. Open A, 1st fret, 2nd fret, and then the 2nd fret of the G string. You want to try to let those two notes ring out. And then we're back to the beginning. Okay, so that's example one. Example two, we're going to switch keys to A, the key of A. Um, Similar uh, type of thing, same same place, bar 11 and 12. So on the downbeat, we're going to hit an A7 chord. I'm using a bar chord here with the root on the E string. That's how this one sounds. So fifth fret, D and B string. 
Then you move it back to the fourth fret, same thing. Then third fret. And then you hit the two, when you get to the second fret, you're gonna hit those at the same time. Then we're gonna do a walk up to an E7 chord, which is our five chord in this key. Open D, first fret D string, second fret D string, pinky on the third fret of the B string, first finger on the first fret of the G string. And that's a, a voicing for an E7 chord. So. And that's another example, that's example two. Now example three is very similar, same key, octave higher, a little bit different voicings. And this is a movable one, so if you're in a different key, you can always play this, you can play this anywhere the same way. Um, so again, downbeat, the A7 chord, we're gonna come up here, basically playing in like a blues scale, pentatonic minor position, A. We're gonna put our first finger on the fifth fret of the high E string and our pinky on the eighth fret of the B string. Then we're just gonna move this down, third fret on the seventh fret, and second fret, finger on the sixth fret. And then we're gonna do a double stop, barring the fifth fret of the E and B strings. That's 5th fret, 6th fret, 7th fret on the A string. Basically outlining our 5 chord again. The, blue, the turnaround always kind of outlines the 5 chord at the end of it. Okay, now you, there's some variations on this one that I'd like to show you. That's an example 4. Instead of doing the... We're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna go. So it's. Back it to the one, okay? So same part. So a little. Uh, hammer on from the 5th fret to the 6th fret on the G string, that's our major 3rd. And then you go up to the 5, the 5th fret on the B string, which is the, the root note of our 5 chord, which in this case is E. Then we're going to do the same little hammer on to the 1, so to the 7th fret of the D string, which is our A, which is our 1 chord. That brings us right back in to the beginning. Okay, so those are a couple examples of blues turnarounds. The last two, example three and four, can be moved in any key. So if you're in B flat, B. So they're, they're based out of like a pentatonic minor fingering. So examples of blues turnarounds.